What is up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do World of Outlaws, obviously. We're just going to jump right into this in the career mode. And, oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to reset my career because I started to record and I realized I didn't have my share option on for the recording. So, yeah. Dirt track racing is rooted in local tracks all across America. Every successful driver has been a local hometown hero at some point, and then moved up to regional events and ultimately into the national level with the World of Outlaws. I think it's uh, really important at the local level to, you know, build your fan base, interact with your fans, interact with the local community. Uh, you know, it's very important to, you know, be learning and, and try to become that hometown hero. Obviously, as you move into the regional level, uh, you got to earn respect. Uh, you got to win races outside of your hometown. Once you're at the national level, you have a lot more people relying on you. Uh, it becomes a lot more of a job. You know, you have to have a lot of mental toughness. Uh, it's a grind out here. It's easy to say that you want to go race with the outlaws, but when you pack your bag and you load your trailer with stuff and you head out on the road, um, it's like a beatdown. It's uh, probably one of the toughest things physically, mentally, financially, all of the above. And you get run down. When you're a weekly racer or you can pick and choose, you get to go home if things aren't right. You hit the reset button. Uh, when you're outlaw tough, there's no reset button. There, there's, when it starts, there's no stopping. My main mentors growing up through racing was my dad. You know, he was always there with me through go-karts and then you know as I got a little bit older I leaned on you know Casey Kane quite a bit. A sponsorship is obviously really important in racing. Um, I've been fortunate to have some great sponsors along the way. One key to, to running a successful race team is obviously the people that you have around you. It all starts with a great crew chief, great tire guys and you got to have great marketing people to help pull it all together so it's important to have a great team around you. When you dream of being in this sport uh, as a child, you just dream about being a sprint car driver. And then when you become a sprint car driver, you dream of being an outlaw and you're racing with the, the greats that there are, the, the Steve Kinders, the Sammy Swindells. You never really can put to the ground the fact that maybe you're gonna be uh, in that position one day where you're one of those guys. Now it's your turn to take your shot. Your goal is to build up a solid reputation sign sponsorship, and continue to grow your organization, all while winning lots of races. But no matter what path you take in your career, your ultimate goal is to become a World of Outlaws Series champion. Good luck out there. We're all rooting for you. Okay. Um, so first thing we got to do is select our... Team Brandon, I'm going Nasty Badger racing. Some of you may get why. Some of you may be like, what the hell? But it is what it is. Okay, so we got to put on our name real quick. Okay, and I already have it preset apparently because uh, it's saved from the last time that I started a career, which kind of makes it nice. It takes a lot of work to build one from the ground up. In order to succeed, you'll need to win races, invest in vehicles and personnel, and earn fans to expand your HQ into new regions. Every new team starts their journey by racing locally, and your team is no different. Let's head into the local and learn how racing in the region works. Okay, let's do that. You'll be starting with $10,000 in team funds, which would be nice in real life, which is enough to buy your first vehicle and get started on the track. As you progress into the regional and national circuits, additional vehicles will become available for purchase. Earn money to buy more vehicles and expand your team. It's going to be a while. Uh, here in local, you can choose from the 305 Sprint or Street Stock. When you're ready, make your choice and head 
to the track for the first race. Now, I do like the street stock, but this to me is a little bit more fun. And I kind of, I like them both, but I when I started the career in this one, I had more fun with it. Plus, you don't see a lot of it on YouTube right now. So, and I can't change my, uh, oh, it, it did, okay, it's on 100%. I will show you guys my settings after the first race. Kokomo to kick off local 305 sprint season. I've loved racing my whole life and now I'm actually competing. Declared new racer of AJ and A Gaming. That's me. So the A main is going to be 30 laps because I do have it on 100% race length. It apparently saved my settings from when I was trying to record before. So, and with resetting it, apparently it worked. Okay, so the practice school time is 13.149. And the last time I was racing here, I was I felt pretty fast. That one did not go fast. I gotta remember how I did it. I would hit the track a full time. Barely. Now I'm going to get a little bit. I did it again. I hit that every time. At least once. And I still keep the time. Is that my best lap right there? It was. Hot lap times are in. Let's Look take that. a look. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into qualifying, which goal position is 34th, and the time would be 12.786, which we can actually beat that with the way we ran in practice. But last time I did this, I hit the tire and completely screwed myself. Let's go south up. There's somebody there. So I hit the goal. Now I didn't see if I can send it. It's that third and seventh and heat one. Nice. I know we can move up there. Hopefully, as long as we don't wreck like I was doing before. Top five fence at A main. That's kind of loud. Turn it down a little bit. Let's not get caught on nobody's tires. Oh, we're getting past. Excuse me. Yep, fourth, fifth. Oh, I put that wrong. We got into him. We got into him. Oh, boy. Much damage. It's not that bad. But we're gonna get into somebody else again. Did he wreck? Not yet. There it is. Fourth. Ha ha. Get my water ready for the next caution because I'm sure there'll be another one with me driving these things. I really don't like this view. I like this view. Slide, slide. Ooh, they got into each other a little bit. Let's 
Do not hit the tire. Oh, I got him. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get past. Ooh, right on my butt. I'm just gonna get my inside, that's okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I took that turn wrong. Stay off the wall. Damn it. Stay off the wall. Port. We'll take it. Starting 13th on the A, man. I like that thing. I like being on the inside. So, let's get it. Fourth and heat four, finish third and heat one, third and ninth. Finish fourth in the B main, third and twenty-fourth. And then there's us. Third and thirteenth. Oh, I'm gonna pick up higher up and jump. Oh god, smart for here. The A main. I'm going to the top plant, and I'm going to make this turn up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got around me pretty fast. Oh. Whoa, he got into him. That's scary to see in real life. Yeah. Get it. Oh, I'm on the inside, buddy. Can we get a top five in our first race? We didn't have to get into him. I got one from outside too. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. I got one on my inside, I believe. Oh. Almost got him. Not there, I'm gonna that turn. Alright, he's going away. Ooh. We don't hit that wall. Okay, we're getting the last stop up there. Oh, I hit the damn tire. Shit. Right. 
foot on the hard side. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! How did I hold on to that one? Oh, please don't hit him! Oh, he's flipping over top of me. Oops. That was scary. He scared the hell out of me. Okay. Can we get a top five? Just go one side. Oh man. Do not smoke contact. He's on my side, and yep. Go there. No, he's not. Okay, good. Oh shit! Where did he come from? That turn wrong. I'm gonna put down a little few racing. That's not helping me none. Let's play. See the last car. Ah, oh, shit. That's not hurt my spine. Oh, there's a wreck up there. We're in the top five. That's not bad. Down in here. If we put on a third at the podium, that'd be amazing to get top three. Yes. Top three. I will definitely take a top three. Okay, so for the top three, we got $4,810 for it. We jacked up our car a little bit, but hey, it was worth it. Okay, Collins takes a massive hit from game and Robbie Collins demands RJ and a game RJA gaming to be banned immediately. Nah, bite me. Robin's racing. Oh, wait, this ain't NASCAR. Wasn't trying to. But um before I forget, let me go ahead and repair all this. Let's go ahead and uh, um do the up yeah, get off of here. Get off of here. If you guys want to read that, you can pause it. But right now, we're just going to try to get through this as quick as possible to get everything upgraded. Go down. Because now we'll be even faster and have a better chance, better chance, 
and getting victories. And after I get this all upgraded, I will show you guys my career settings and my uh, uh, staring settings, all that. Go here. Okay. So now we only got $1,777. And let's go into for options so I show so I can show you guys these. Um Did not realize that was like that. That's supposed to be full damage. I turn this down because the cars don't really shake as much as like they do on the controllers. Driving, that's how I have it. I've got it set on hard. AI, I the scale range, I lowered it to create much tighter field, making traffic management and competition more intense. Stability, turned it up which allows me to drive more aggressive because then the computer cars uh, have more stability when we make contact with them. Recovery skills, I turn that up for them so they don't crash as much. As much Consistency, I turned it up a little bit just to make it more realistic. Uh, starting spread, I've lowered that, which... Uh, yeah, allows little room for mistakes. Incident frequency, I left that alone because cars are going to wreck in these kind of kind of races. They're going to collide. Um, I'm just going to leave that like that. And then my controls is how I just have it set up. I, it's pretty much normal. The only thing I did was turn this down a little bit. Um... I did have this off, but then my car wants to turn to the right, like extra hard. So I, this is pretty much all the same. So that's my settings. Now, let's see. We have another race that's 25 laps. It's at Indiana. Uh, first price is first pr place prize is 5,000. So let's see if we can get that. Our car is 50 50, 20% upgraded already. So maybe we can. Welcome to Grand Park Speedway. 15.553. You can hear I'm feathering a car through the corners. God damn it, that's what I was trying to avoid sliding it too much. I want to get those feet coming out. So hit the goal. Do one more lap for the press of the press a little bit better. Let's see what happens if we just stay on it the whole time. Do a whole lap like that. That was faster. That was faster. Okay. Let's go ahead and end. Let's take a look at the hot laptop. <laughs> Just a little bit faster. We get extra money. Oh, wait, that's in sponsors. When we have a sponsor. But anyways, I know we can get that time. Up here. Flipping it down. Five on up. Okay. And then, slide through the turn. Just a 
it down. Right there, second. Second one. This stuff is trying to fall on me. Starting and forcing heat through. Okay, so let's go do this heat. Top five offense at A main, top two offense at qualifying dash. Let's see if we get to the top two. making ground on them. I don't know if they have enough laps. Now you can come down here. Ah, oh, that just knocked it up. Seventh in the A main. Let's let's get it. Oh no, we're in the qualifying dash. I forgot. Okay. Let's go. Drop. 
Uh, it's not how I wanted to exit that corner. chance right now. Okay, that's loud. I don't want to hurt. out on us. Get in the 
Yeah, that is you. Yeah, you are. No, you're not. Person season standing, so we earned another forty five hundred plus forty five. Really not bad. So that takes us up to six thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars, correct? And nine hundred forty-one fans. A little bit of damage to the car. Oh, and come my message from that was. I know it's tough in these first few events. I remember when I was just starting out at my local track many years ago. But you're doing great. Just keep focusing on doing your best. Try to get into as many features as you can. The sponsors out here like to see consistency. If you do that, your fan base will start to build and you'll be heading out to regional events in no time. Just remember to sink as much money back into your car as possible. It will help you stay competitive. Good luck out there. No shit, Sherlock. Told me what I don't know. Psych. So the next race is a showcase race, which actually means we can get a sponsor but first we need to repair our car and we need to look into how much it's gonna upgrade the how much it's gonna be to upgrade the engine a lot how much is this 5680 how much is this 4240 20 2000 so let's how much was the engine 92 Let's go ahead and I we might have enough to do all this, so let's go ahead and do this. Get it upgraded. Uh, we might not. Nope. Okay, whatever. Whoops. I did my math completely wrong. That's okay though, because now the car is upgraded even more. So after the next race, we'll come back and upgrade this, and then we'll probably upgrade the tires and maybe get to the suspension no the suspension is what we're working on now 
So the tires and then maybe the wings. But that's going to end this episode right here. And we will catch you guys in the next one.